So I'm Saul Burton, I'm the head of uh, the Algal Research Group at University College London and our uh, research is mainly focused on using algae in various different biotech applications, uh, particularly applying genetic engineering approaches to strain improvement uh, for making various different products, uh, everything from biofuels to very high value products that we can get from algae. We've been beta testing one of the, the early units since uh, I think we had it installed just before Christmas, so we've been running it pretty much continuously since then, mainly trying to use the system to, to compare genetic engineered or mutated strains against a parental strain and, and looking at how what we've done in terms of genetic modifications, how they're changing the, uh, the growth parameters of the algae. So in terms of the, uh, the setup and the operation, uh, the um, uh, the equipment was, was delivered by Algenuity and they came down with a couple of guys, set it up in the morning, it took about two hours to get it up and running, um, and then they uh, taught us how to, how to use it, um, which took maybe an hour or two for the sort of basic operation. So by the afternoon we had our first experiment running, uh, and since then um, three or four PhD students in the lab have been using the equipment and playing with it and uh, learning you know, how they can uh, use it for their experimental work. So it was very quick and easy to, to get it started. It's, it's a really nice piece of kit. Um, it basically, it's, it's sufficiently simple that it, um, it can be used in a lab setting with minimal sort of training. Uh, and so, as I say, PhD students and undergraduates that are doing projects in a lab very quickly learn how to use it and uh, were, were confident and comfortable for using the equipment. So unlike you know, a very sophisticated bioreactor system which requires extensive training, th this system is, is, is very easy to, uh, to, 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 uh, to, to grasp. And, uh, so uh, yes, in first impressions, very, very easy, very simple to, to use. Uh, the, the software is very intuitive. And the fact that you're just using shaker flask, one litre shaker flask, um, also is, is it, it means that uh, people that are used to using shaker flask as their as their, their, uh, their basic system in the lab were confident and comfortable about making the transition in terms of using this equipment. Uh, so you don't have the issue where you've got a very elaborate, complicated fermenter pot that you've got to sort of learn how to use. Uh, and if you drop it, it's a disaster. If you drop a one litre flask, it's not a disaster. So this is, a, you know, it's a user-friendly system that works in a lab setting. And uh, certainly, yeah, you know, all our experiences so far have been very positive with it.